Hey, church family. It is good to come to you and just kind of give you an update for this week. Uh, it's been a good week. Uh, great to be in person last night. Uh, yeah, I'm filming this on Thursday instead of Friday, uh, but I wanted to go ahead and give you uh, an extra day uh, to prepare for Sunday because I'm excited about uh, Sunday and excited about what's going on here Sunday. Uh, as you can tell, I'm in our sanctuary today instead of in my office at the house or in my office here at the church because I wanted to, to film this in front of our door, uh, in front of our door here and to, to remind us uh, that God is opening doors, but we're to also be striving uh, and praying that God opens those doors, but we're to be looking to go through every door in 2024. Uh, listen, church family, God opened a lot of doors during the snowstorm last week, and uh, I hope that uh, you all took a, uh, advantage of those doors, uh, that you saw those doors. We will be sharing more about those doors that opened uh, in the next uh, few days and weeks, uh, and uh, we will be uh, able to step through some of those doors as well. Uh, one door that opened is uh, me and one of our other pastors in the area had an opportunity to share the gospel uh, with one of our homeless men uh, in the area. So y'all be praying for, for that young man. Uh, pray that God just continues to, to draw him to salvation. He is uh, close, very close, but I wanted to give you that update. I shared a little bit of information about that last night during our prayer time here at church. Uh, as well. Speaking of last night at church, we started talking about what the Bible says about angels. And so uh, we had a great discussion about that. We will be talking about that a little bit more this coming up Wednesday night. Listen, I want to invite you to be a part of our Wednesday night studies. I know we've got folks in discipleship groups, and I'm excited about our discipleship ministries that we have going on uh, here at our church. Uh, God is really using those discipleship groups uh, we've got people asking more about those discipleship groups, and uh, basically I'm using Wednesday night as a big discipleship group as well. For those that's not in a, an individual group right now, we'll be starting some individual groups uh, again uh, very soon uh, too, but, uh, but I want to invite you to be a part of that uh, because as we look at what the Bible says about uh, answering your questions uh, the first week, we talked about what the Bible says about divorce, and uh, our live stream didn't work that week. Our recording didn't work, uh, so there's not a video of that, but if you'd like a copy of my notes, uh, I'll be glad to get you a copy of that, so just reach out to me, and I'll get you a copy of that, uh, but also uh, last night, and it is online, uh, the discussion we started about angels, uh, and we'll be going another week or two on that, so uh, for that, so uh, it's a great time, a great discussion. Uh, for it, but uh, a lot of things are going on. God is just blessing, uh, seeing new faces in our church, seeing familiar faces come back to our church, uh, and that's only one way to explain that. God, God is at work, and, and church family, I hope that you are seeing God at work, and and that's just a a result of prayer. That that's a result of 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 us spending time in prayer praying for God to open doors, uh, and praying for, for uh, us to go through those doors and being willing to go through those doors as God opens those doors. And one of those doors that, that God has opened is this coming up Sunday. And I want to encourage you to be here this Sunday. Dr. Rock Collins is going to be here. Uh, Dr. Collins is our Tennessee Baptist uh, Evangelism Director. Uh, he's over Strategic Ministries for... Uh, reaching Tennessee. Uh, he has shared at our state convention back in uh, November that we're looking at roughly 8 million people uh, here in Tennessee in the next little bit and roughly 80% of those being lost. So what that is telling me that we've got almost 6 million people here in the state of Tennessee that are lost. And, and we're hearing that there's a large majority right here in Henderson, Decatur County that's lost. And, and so we have a responsibility and a call from God to go and make disciples. And, and we are to go be witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the ends of the earth. And Jerusalem, that is our Henderson and Decatur County. And so we've got to start right here. So this Sunday, January 28th, Dr. Collins is going to be in our service. He's going to be challenging us and encouraging us to go be 
uh, witnesses, but go make disciples. But listen, if you've got lost people, if you've got friends, family that are lost, unchurched, get them here this Sunday. This Sunday is going to be a one-day revival service, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Dr. Collins has an awesome way of presenting the gospel, and it'll be a way to see lost people come to know Jesus. And so if you ever wanted to see your friends saved, get them here this Sunday. If you've wanted to see your, your family members saved, get them here this Sunday. And so I cannot stress it enough. This Sunday could be the beginning of a major revival in our church, and I'm praying for that. And so I want to encourage you to be here this Sunday to hear Dr. Collins. Also, as we, we come together this Sunday, uh, Sunday night, God's going to be uh, working uh, to kick off and, and move through that. We're going to spend time in prayer, praying for God to open doors. And, and God is already moving. I've already had people uh, talking to me about church membership. I've had people talking to me about salvation, uh, talking to me about baptism. Listen, God is at work. And so this Sunday, like I said, could be the beginning of a major revival right here in our area. So get here this Sunday. Get your friends and your family here this Sunday. I, I heard from Dr. Collins' uh, office this week. He is excited and looking forward to be here, and I know that you will be blessed. Uh, also, this coming up Sunday night, our, our students are going to be sharing about their experience at, at Extreme Winter and Branson back last month. Uh, God really used that event to bring them closer together and closer to each other. And so I know that's going to be a blessing as well. Listen, a lot of other things coming up, uh, mission opportunities, ministry opportunities. Continue to support our, our Friday friends, our partnership with Pen Oak, helping out uh, those students. I appreciate our missions team and Miss Yvette. Uh, and what they do uh, through that. Also, you heard me mention last night our baby bottle co campaign uh, to to uh, with Birth Choice uh, has kicked off and has has launched. So so listen, that's going to be a great uh, ministry. So those are out in the foyer. Uh, pick those up. That'll be uh, through uh, March third. There's more information in our newsletter uh, about that. So make sure you uh, read that. Pick that up. A great ministry. Uh, there's some uh, some stats that I'll be sharing uh, about uh, how that ministry is is really working uh, to uh, help in, uh, encourage uh, people to uh, protect uh, their babies and 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 so uh, continue to support that ministry. Uh, another thing uh, that I've I've talked to our staff about. Uh, February 14th is Valentine's Day. We all know that. It falls on a Wednesday this year. And uh, it also is Ash Wednesday, uh, which is, is uh, part of Mardi Gras and part of, of uh, the uh, religious traditions. And, and to promote fellowship in our church, that Wednesday night, we are going to have a gumbo and soup fellowship night here at the church. So on, on Valentine's night, so guys, listen, you can take your... Uh, your wives, your girlfriends out for a wonderful date night on February 14th, Valentine's night, right here at Union Baptist Church for a soup and gumbo night. I'm making a pot of gumbo, uh, and so I'm looking forward to that. We'll, I'll be reaching out to some of you others about helping with that, uh, but it's going to be a great time on February 14th, Valentine's night, Wednesday night. It's going to be a great time. But listen, there's other information in our newsletter. Uh, make sure you read it. Make sure you pay attention to it. I'll put the link in, in, on this YouTube uh, video. And uh, But listen, let's make sure that in 2024, we are striving to go through every door. God bless you. Look forward to seeing you Sunday. Spread the word and get your friends here to hear Dr. Rock Collins. God bless you. I love you. See you soon. Bye-bye.